Um, okay, so let's see. Let's load up some more instruments. There are three ways to load up instruments. The first way we already done, we press this plus key and we will get this menu. I want to load up one more software instrument or you can do, you know, 30 or 35 or whatever you want. I'll just load up one right now. Um, and you get a blank MIDI instrument. Um, notice that when you when you get these blank instruments, I'm gonna talk about this later, but when you load up a blank instrument, you get this uh, library pop up just automatically. Okay, the second way to load up instruments is to press this button. This is just a copier. It will copy the track that you just created. So if I press it on this one, it will, it will copy a blank track. If I press it when it's when the piano is highlighted, it will make a pi another piano track. They're both piano tracks. Um, uh, so whatever is highlighted, it will copy it and it will make. The third option um, is kind of similar. If I double click in this this blank area, it will make a copy of that kind of track. Or it will make a blank copy of that kind of track. So even though the piano is highlighted right here, if I do this, it will still make a blank MIDI track. So those are three ways to load instruments. Um, okay, let me talk about the th three kind of two or three ways, depending on how you look at it, to load instruments in general. So the first way we've already done, you press F and you get this library. And from here you can, I mean, there, there are a, just a ton of instruments. You should really just, just have a look because there's, there's just a billion. But this is not all of them. Um, there's even more. Um, so this, so there's two ways to get here. That's why I say there's three or two, depending on how you look at it. So the first way is, is just to click in here. I usually use this. You can use your arrows if you need to. Um, I use this depending on um, depending on the situation. But so there's this this way. And the second way is to click on this thing. Click and hold. And this is the same exact menu with all the same instruments that you can load up. So woodwinds, brass, brass ensemble. So these, so clicking and holding here or doing it from it, when you get a default uh, menu, clicking in here um, will get you the same results. The difference between this one and the second one is that this one has inserts. It has effects, these things right here. So let me go to an empty one. The second way to to get two instruments is to click and hold where this is IO and you get all of these uh, instrument libraries. Most of these come straight with logic and m some of them are just incredible. Um, there's a few in here that are extras. For example, Mo2, that's an extra uh, one that we bought and it doesn't come with logic. East West does not come with logic, but East West is an awesome orchestral library. Um, that, ha that actually has the best orchestral sounds. Uh, we're not going to use them today, but but just so you know, their orchestral sounds are just amazing. Uh, if you have got GarageBand, if you use GarageBand at all, the same instruments. You got a drum thing. Um, you've got you've got so you got organ. You got synthesizers. You've got just an incredible amount of of samples here. Let me just load up the first one here. Simple synthesizer. Okay. Um, and okay, so this this thing, this library on the right doesn't always like like we see here. It doesn't always load up just instruments from one place. What this is showing is whatever is highlighted right here. So um, right now, this EXS twenty four is highlighted. I can click on this, and now this is highlighted. And actually, this this library menu is actually is showing me things based on this effect. Um, if you take a look, large spaces, rooms, halls, whatever. If I click on here, large spaces, rooms, halls. So this, whatever's highlighted, would, I could do the EQ, I can highlight the EQ. Now this, is, this library has changed to show the EQ settings. Whatever is highlighted over here will, will show up in here. So that's very important to remember. Okay, so now that this, let's go back to this track where we have the EF1. Notice that this is highlighted, that's why I can use these. So I can either use, um, I can find instruments this way, or I can find them this way. So FM leads, 
evolving lead, FM lead, evolving lead, same thing, same way to get there. Usually this is a lot faster, so this is what I use, but you have to make sure you know what is highlighted because you might be clicking things that, are, that you don't want to be clicking on. Uh, for example, if this thing is highlighted, this is different from when this is highlighted. There, there, it's a different menu. Okay, so so the difference between once again the difference between doing it from finding instruments from this button or from the default library on the right is that these have effects. When I did it from here, these are just plain instruments without effects. That's the difference. Uh, effects are are just things like reverb, EQ, uh, delays. Um, there's all kinds of effects that you have, and they and they're put in this insert section. So, um, and and if, for example, when you load up things from here or here, you get your in, you get your um, your effects that come with it. And as soon as I change something, let's say I go to harp, the settings on the effects would change. Um, you probably you can't see it because it's not open, but they f they change. Um, if I were to change this instrument, I believe the effects stay there. Yeah, the effects stay there, but the instrument itself changes. Okay, there's something else. All right, so enough of that. Let's let's just uh, load up some more instruments. So so just so I think we understand how to load up instruments now. There's there's two ways there's two ways to load up instruments, but three ways to get there. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick with this basic method of getting there through the uh, default library method. Um, so I'm going to load up some bases. I got a base, add it to base. Okay, here we go. I'm going to record the bass line. I noticed that I played a note too long. Uh, where was it? Here it is. Okay, this note was too long, so I'll just cut it down and we're good. Okay, good. Um, if you want to hear the metronome, whether you're playing back or whether you're recording, all you gotta do is press the letter C. Um, and when you do that, this button right here will turn blue. You can either press C or you can press it with your mouse. Either way, I usually press C because it's a lot faster and more compact. So I'll go back to the beginning, I'll press C, and then you can hear it. Okay. Uh, if I press R, as of right now, the C is on, the, the metronome on, is on. So as I'm recording, I can press C to turn it on or off. And when it's recording, as you'll notice, you just get that red bar above. So now I turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off. Uh, another important thing to remember is that when you record, it just jumps back uh, four beats. So take a look, it's on 13 right now. And it's going to jump back to the 12. That's a, just a count off. And when it gets to 13, you can start playing. Let me, let me do that with the metronome. There you go. OK. Um, all right, let's play now some strings. Now these are not the best strings, like I've said before. Uh, East West has the best strings, but this will do for what we have. Uh, most of these instruments, when you open up this instruments from this default way, most of these instruments are coming from the EXS24. So let me open up just just so you can see a little bit more. I don't mean to confuse you, but this isn't can be uh, less of a headache when you get confused if you do. So let me just load up just this way, EXS24. This is the def this is EXS24 without any effects, um, as you can see. If I click up here, this is also EXS24, but it's got all these effects and a, a few presets on it. If I double click on this, I can see it. If I double click it, when this is highlighted, it will go away or it will come back. Now there's just on this on this one where it has the strings. There's just a few other buttons that are pressed. Um, um, 
I mean, no, there's not there's not a few buttons that are pressed. It's just that the, it has effects, and it's a different instrument. Um, so there is a difference between these two. They're both coming from from EXS24, uh, but this one, this one, this one has the str the effects with it. Um, okay. All right. So here we go. I think I played that a little bit loud on some parts, so I'll just bring down the velocity, press down command. <clears throat> and it brings it down. Let's have a listen. go out on a limb real quick I'm gonna open up this effect why I'm doing it is just see if it, it will sound any better I'm just simply turning up the reverb I'm not gonna go into this very deeply but I'm just turning up the reverb a little bit I'm not gonna go over and talk more about these effects but just so you know what is available I'll talk about effects later on um, but I'm just turning that up a little bit okay now now that we have more tracks we can we can use uh, solo and mute so if I press S when I'm clicking on this region it will solo this region and only the strings will play okay I'm turning off that metronome um, so if I press M the thing will not play at all if I press S and M while this thing is is uh, highlighted and muted then nothing will play why? Because I've soloed this region, but it's muted. So whatever you solo, <coughs> whatever you solo is only what Logic will play. So you can you can do this one and this one if you want. So whatever is highlighted will only play. The way you do multiple things like that, you just press Shift and click to unclick or to click things. Just hold down Shift. Um, I can do the track, and it will just play that track. Uh, the difference between the two, for example, if I pull down Option, click and drag this, now I've got two regions with, with notes inside. If I press Solo, both these regions will play when, they, when it gets there. If I press like this and just press Solo here, then just this region will play and not this region. So that's the difference. So M, muting, S, soloing. Um, you got the mute and the solo here. Um, and then as you cut things up, for example, you know, you want to cut that, you want to, you want to mute that, um, that's, you know, th this becomes more relevant as, as you see more tracks, especially with audio tracks, because you want to cut things and duplicate things and, you know, you can move them up. For example, I play the string line, I can now play, have the piano play it. bass play it, you know, it doesn't sound good on a bass, but I can do that, and I can, so, th so these things, these MIDI notes are almost like empty, I mean, they're not, they're not tied to an instrument, it's like just information that will tell whatever instrument it's assigned to what to play, it'll tell you how long, how hard to hit the notes, and how long, that's essentially what it's telling you. Okay, let me put it back to normal, just glue this back together. Okay, I'm going to delete this track, get a new one. Okay, we need a harp and a chorus line. Um, 